Julian is a small mountain town known for its history, its pies, its apple orchards, its gold mines, and apple cider. We toured this quaint little town and explored, bringing my family along to see this place for the first time. We toured Julian's Main Street, ate pie at Mom's Pies and Julian Pie Company. We took a tour of the Eagle and High Peak Gold Mines, had some dinner at Heroes, and ended our day at Calico Cidery. Located over an hour from San Diego in the foothills near the Cleveland National Forest and before Anza Borrego Desert State Park. Julie is now known for its apple properties, but once held over 200 active gold mines, making this town a mining hub. We visited during peak season, which runs from September to October when the apple festivities begin. We started early by taking the opportunity to try Mom's Pies, one of the two top rated bakeries in town to try some apple flavored delicacies. We recommend getting your chance at these pies early because waits can sometimes reach hours in line to get a slice of pie. So right now we're at Mom's uh, Pie Bakery right now. Uh, Natch and I, we each got a different slice of pie to try. Uh, we got, uh, what was it, cherry, cherry berry? No, apple, apple berry. Apple berry pie and, uh, and uh, caramel, crumb. caramel crumb and apple. Right here. Caramel and apple berry. Okay, so which pie did you think was better? In my opinion, the... Um, Apple caramel crumb was better because um, even though the fruit, the apple was as good as the berries, um, I think the crust was better and um, all those extra crumbs gave it like a little crunchier texture. So for me, the apple crumb, caramel crumb is the best one. For you, which one is? Uh, for me, I agree with you. I like the uh, apple caramel crumb. Same for some reasons. The, the apple taste is good with the cinnamon in it, and uh, the crumb was a little better, so was the crust. The very one, the crust at the bottom was a little thin. Uh, the fruit was good, a little sweet, but uh, this definitely took the, the prize. But now we're going to go to the Julian one and see which, uh, which place has the better pie. Yay! I love pie. I love pie too. <laughs> Now we're heading over to Julian Pie Company. Let's go, we got our coffees, we're ready to go. <laughs> So after waiting for about half an hour, we finally got our pie at Julian Pie Company. We got we got the Dutch apple and the caramel Dutch apple. As you can see, we've already started grumming on it. It's so good. It's this one's really good. It's really good. We'll let you know how we're, how it is after we're done, and we'll rate the ones uh, between this one and the mom's pies. All right, we just finished eating our pies at the Julian Pie Company, and before we give you our decision on which pie out of the mom's and Julian is better, we're gonna let you know. Out of the two pies we had today, which one was better? Not just gonna go first. Uh, the best one, in my opinion, was the Dutch uh, caramel apple pie. Um, it, it was really, really um, crumbly. It had, it had a lot of crumbs on top and the crumbs were so tasty. They were like um, crunchy and buttery at the same time. And um, the crust was perfect, and the pie had the, sa the the right amount of sugar and cinnamon inside. the The crust was just perfect. It was like cooked very good, and and I don't know. It was just like it was like you had a heaven. Every bite was like heavenly, like tasting. So I really loved it. Yeah, I have to agree with her again. The Dutch caramel apple was the best one. The we put whipped cream on it, and it was way better. The uh, Dutch Dutch apple was 
It was good. The crust is a lot better than uh, the other place we went to, but uh, with the caramel, the whipped cream, the, the crust. crust was the best. It was, it was a very good pie. And I think as you can tell, our favorite pie, pie company out of the two was definitely Julian. You have to agree, Julian, don't you? Yeah. It's a smaller place, but I think, I don't know, it just, I think they made, they probably put more love into the pies because everything was just, the presentation, everything was just perfect. I loved it. So yeah, I would recommend uh, trying both uh, to see if you guys uh, have a different opinion than us. But uh, we're going to give you guys a 10 out of 10 for Julian and I'd say probably uh, a 6 out of 10 for Mom's Pie. What would you rate them? Yeah, uh, kind of the same rating as you, but probably, uh, yeah, like a 7 for the, the Mom's for Pie moms, yeah. and a 10 for, for Julian. or a 20 out of 10 20 out of 10. Place. So that's how good it was. <laughs> yep. All right, now we're going to check out a little bit of downtown, check out the shops. This place has soaps. This store has a whole warehouse behind it, hidden behind it. It's huge. Oh, you won. <laughs> you won. <laughs> This place has the stuff, all kinds of stuff in here. It's Julian's own Hobby Lobby. All kinds of stuff in here. Stuff for birds. They have soaps. Near Main Street are the Eagle and High Peak Mines, two gold mines that offer guided tours at the inner tunnels of the mine. Now we're going to take a tour through the gold mine. Let's head in. Tours are $15 per adult and last about 45 minutes. Guides run daily with friendly staff filled with an abundance of knowledge of minor duties, tools, mining operations, and mining machinery. Yeah, I'm 6'2", and I'm a little tall for this. Got a duck. Labor. And, and it took a very low skill level, but it did take tremendous amounts of stamina or uh, needing to have money without complaining. 
If complaining wasn't part of your job, you complain that you're out the door. Um, <laughs> no, no worker rights, I think. But. We've just exited the Eagle Mine and we're walking now through the High Peak Mine, which I guess works completely two separate mines owned by two different uh, companies. Um, you'll see it as you pass through, everybody's going to be going through here. And if you look directly above us, you will see the old Mary Rock. It's in a... Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's This motor that's right behind me was used to uh, the hoist a lot of the rocks that are in the cavern that's right behind us. Also hoist up the gold and it was gas operated and one man would stay here and run the machine while the miners were downstairs. And I don't know, it's gonna be hard to notice, but the roof of this cave right here is black and that's from the smoke from the engine. Now we're onto the second floor. We're gonna walk up some stairs pretty gnarly. Uphill empty, let it go downhill full. That was the idea. On this uh, board here, and, and you can probably see it, or if you can't, you can shift around as we're leaving and look at but this has some of the primitive tools that the powderman used. Gold, the price of gold hadn't gone up for a hundred years. If you have a business and you can't raise the price of your product for a hundred years, that's like a failed business concept. You know, you not, we know all about raising prices now. We go up every week, but <laughs> the price of gold didn't go up for a hundred years. Twenty dollars an ounce in 1850, uh, twenty dollars an ounce in 19. Well, back in the early 80s, and you could hear it from downtown, he had hooked an old tractor motor. And that thing would get going, it is loud. No trip to Julian would be complete without partaking in a U-Pick farm. Unfortunately, after a recent storm, a lot of the farms had their crops devastated, and this farm, though open, didn't have any fruit to pick. Since we weren't fortunate to participate in a U-Pick, we were fortunate to find a delicious restaurant right next door to the farm. At Heroes, you can grab a wood fire pizza, ice cold beer, a burger, or a freshly made soup and catch live entertainment. When in Rome, have a locally brewed hard cider. Yeah.
Now we've visited a place that serves locally brewed cider using apples grown on their property and only locally grown ingredients to produce hard cider. Calico Cidery has a great aesthetic. We tried a flight of all four of their ciders on tap. We want to thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed our weekend in Julian. Let us know what you think about Julian in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. How was All right, so we just finished eating our pies at um, Jul... Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>